My name is Maitli Prakash. I am a performer, practitioner of the style Bharatanatyam, which is a style that's um, from South India. Mythology is such an important part, I think, of, of our upbringing in any culture. And in Indian culture, there's like this huge body of myth. And so from the time I started kind of creating my own work, a lot of times narrative was what formed the core. I think there's a genuine conviction that she has as an artist in her form as a classical Indian dancer. The rigor and depth that she's kind of gone through um, to be able to immerse herself in a form that is a very challenging form, you know. I think ever since I've known Maitri, what drew me most to her was her passion for dance, the amount of hard work she does, and her conviction in what she's doing. But that has also evolved. And over time, I've seen how the way she lives her life on an everyday basis is also kind of integrated with her art. So creating, well, first feigning innocence, and creating the illusion of dropping his earring, Shiva lifts the earring with his toe, raises his leg, and returns the earring to his ear, performing a formidable pose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Patti says she knew she was being deceived, but because she was a woman, she played along. In other words, Kali, though equally skilled, is bound by the constructs of her femininity. One All actually plays with the story that like, a lot of us grew up hearing, which is a dance competition between the male god Shiva and the female god Kali. They're actually meant to be one body, they're, they're one, one being. They're lovers, but like so much so that they form one being. Um, and so when Shiva feels kind of worried that Shiv, Kali, he's the god of dance and there's this sense of threat that Kali might defeat him because she's able to do everything he's able to do and a little more even. And so he creates this illusion whereby he drops his earring on the floor and then he raises it with his toe to place it back in his ear and then he continues on to lift it and do a pose. And Kali can totally match this, but because she's a woman in the constructs of society then she wasn't allowed to, so she surrenders and he wins the competition. Really, the thing is a battle, mm -hmm. this place, and it's about how through illusion he cheated or whatever, mm -hmm. and then she finds her own way of uh, uh, finding a way through it mm -hmm. to say, well, no, I have to free myself from these uh, 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 rules, mm -hmm. rule set. Mm -hmm. So that's the metaphor, that's mm -hmm. the strongest part. I'm Mike Lee's brother, so I've been on that journey with her for a long time, and in this production, um, it's been a much more collective process as each person who has been a part of it has contributed in some way to the piece. Yeah. So that's so, naturally, yeah. it's not just a score that works. Her name is Shakti, it means strength. You think she couldn't do it? Bound by the constructs of the She was just pretending. Bound by the constructs of Sit like a lady. Bound by the constructs of femininity. I mean, 
Working with Mike Lee on music is, is very interesting because it's not just about composing music, it's about you know understanding the narrative, understanding the intention. So even if I'm holding a note or you know, like I'm singing a melody, it's about what is the melody trying to convey? What is the story behind that? She surrenders and Shiva wins the competition. Can we rewrite this story? Can we rewrite this story? Can we rewrite this story? Yes. Can we rewrite this story? Absolutely. Yes. Because she wants her, the other artists, to be a part of the performance versus a part of the orchestra, as we say in um, Indian classical dance. You know, so to find um, ways to kind of integrate them to the production, other than their music, you know, is, has been a bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. So the crowd should go in and you are bigger than the crowd. Your universe exists bigger. It's just metaphoric. To be so able to ask even the right questions, not just questions, anybody can ask questions, but the right questions. I can tell a lot about the level and depth of an artist just by the questions they ask. I think that uh, there's a lot that I can relate to when it comes to him and a lot that I admire and look up to. And what I love also is the play aspect. Being open to fail failure, you know, knowing that something you try might fail, but you just do it with so much conviction and only then will you know if it'll fail or it'll stick. And other things emerge that kind of surprise you. We got the, we got the great Akram Khan in and he did, he did what we needed, which was to pull it apart and like show us the bits that didn't work. And when you're creating it, you're not seeing it. Mm -hmm. And it's so important, which we don't have in music, actually in Carnatic classical music, we, we don't have this, uh, this third eye mm -hmm. uh, overlooking the project. I think with this specific piece and with all her work, I, I do a very similar process. I interrogate every breath and every second. And so this piece, because we're doing it at Qatar, um, for the World Cup, for this uh, festival of dance, this idea of competition really struck me. And this idea that we always have to have a winner. So I think how we communicate this idea of competition, the idea of the emotions, the idea of like an arena and a dance and a match, you know, between two characters when there's only one of me. Um, there's a lot of imagination that we have to use to create the scenario and we have to be able to pull the audience in to use their imaginations to believe they are seeing what we're seeing and what we're feeling. What's really important for me is the integrity of the work, that it can stand anywhere, in any condition. And this is something that really Akram has made me aware of is like I want them to feel something. So I can't control like the information that they make of it. I just want them to feel like they've gone on a journey. When I'm just feeling the work and my head doesn't come into action, then I know it's working. <laughs>